In this video, let's just explore a little bit more about the rotation of the Earth. Now, we know that the Earth has an axis, right? It's an imaginary line which runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, something like a needle. And you also have an equator. The movement of the Earth, the movement of the Earth around its axis okay is what is known as the rotation of the earth so the earth moves around its own axis so this axis that we see is going to make an angle of 66 and a half degree with the orbital plane right and what is the orbital plane it's a plane formed by the orbit so this axis makes an angle of 66 and a half degree with the orbital plane right now consider this is the earth and uh, because we've made earth that big we'll have to make sun even a bit more big forgive me this is actually not the shape of the sun but let's say this is the sun when the sun rays come okay they're going to come and fall on the earth something like this right okay let me just extend this as well now given that this is a sphere what happens is that it's only half of the portion okay if I may divide it by this black line the one on the right and the one on the left by the reason that this is it is this part of the earth which is facing the sun there is a daylight okay there is a daylight if I may put it in uh, which color do you want me yellow so this particular portion of the earth which faces the sun has day okay why because the sunrise or sorry sun rays are falling directly on this particular piece right so this part of the earth will have a day whereas the one which is lying on the other side which is this portion okay it is going to have night so this piece is going to have night due to the earth's rotation around its own axis okay what will happen is as the earth moves from west to east right this portion is gradually going to go this side right and then the portion where the day was not there is going to come and face the sun and when it faces the sun then it will have day here so this one rotation interestingly is completed around the sun in 24 hours right and that's why we have this day which is of 24 hours the earth take around 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis and this 24 hour period is known as the earth day right there is one important thing the circle the, this line which we spoke about which is this black one which actually divides these two portions the one which has day and the one which has light is known as the circle of illumination okay so the circle basically divides the part which has day and the part which has night now interestingly if you see this does not coincide with the axis this was the axis right so it does not coincide with the axis it need not necessarily be in line with the axis of the earth now can you tell me what will happen if the rotation was not there if this thing did not happen if the earth did not move what will happen this portion of earth which had day will always have day and the one which had night will always have night so this part of the earth is always going to remain hot and this will always remain cold so therefore this rotation is very important right I hope you would have understood this thank you for being with us today